Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7. Now today, we got some more RTA for you guys. And we're going to try to use a couple of units that we couldn't use last video, because everyone was drafting really, really strangely. Uh, I would like to use Roy some more as well, but of course we have to manipulate our opponent's drafts in order to enable us to do so. Um... Alright, I think I will go ahead and ban Aeola and Bellion. Alright, Politus and Ronner ban? Well, this guy does not want to fight Cleave. Sure, uh, let's go for a first pick. I'm gonna go for a first pick of Aeroz or Dien. I think we pick Dien. I think we pick Dien here, so let us go for that. Because there's no chance that we're going to get cleaved, right? Okay, who's he picking? You're not going to first pick Ed. Okay, see Lilius being picked out. Kind of a standard first pick. It depends on what his second pick is. That will dictate what I go next. I'm going to go Aroz, but the next unit I go depends on this. Okay, I might go for... I'll go for Aroz. Do I go Hua Young? I didn't pre-ban Hua Young. Is this the return of Hua Young here? <laughs> uh, perhaps. Right? Let's go for it. Let's go for a Hua Young pick. Because he has a Ravi, so why not? Haven't seen her in quite a while. Haven't used her, haven't fought her. She's been pre-banned for weeks because I've been testing other units, but I think at this point, I just don't want to see Bellions and Aeolas anymore. So we're either going to use her or we're going to fight her. Right. Oh, Pavel, is he transitioning into Cleave? Because that's a little weird. Uh, Pavel, Ida, okay, Ida makes sense. See, Lilius, Ida enables Pavel. Hmm. Okay, but the thing is, huh, no Politus available, Ida, Ida picked out, man, these people really just want to force me to play defensively and I don't want to do that. Do we go Armin? I think we can go Armin here. Armin's alright. Yeah, let's go Armin. <clears throat> and here we go. We go Sage Ball. Alright, I think we go Sage Ball here. Yeah, we'll transition. Okay, Para being picked out is also fine. So I think we just ban the A Ravi and we're good. Yeah. Yeah, I think we ban the A Ravi and we're good. Okay, Armin is banned. Sure, who's he gonna single target attack? We gotta protect Ball in the back. I think Hua Young's dead to the to the Ida here. So let's go and see. He needed to pick two openers, that's why he picked Para, right? Para and C Lilius. Okay, so C Lilius is still faster. They're both about the same speed. And he's gonna go for the debuffs here. Now the thing is, Ball could potentially cut. Yeah, Ball's gonna cut, and he I don't think he can he can stop me, so that's unfortunate for him. There's no way he's doing that. Yep, so we get to cut here, and everything hopefully goes to sleep. Yep, there we go, all four. So, he should have banned the ball. Oh, but, wow, Paragon RNL! <laughs> Look at this guy! Wow! Insane. Insane. Alright. Sure. Oh, did he get another RNL? Oh my gosh. No. There's only so many times you can get lucky. There are only so many times you can get lucky, man. Okay, let's push up the team. Hua Young gets to go. Who do we finish off here? Let's try to go for the Ida. Okay, we actually hit her, so this will do a bit of damage. There's only so many times this guy can get lucky, man. 
Alright, let's go for the Ida here. Finish it off with Hua Young. Very nice. And I think that was it. That was the most uh, important unit to go for, is now we can attack in front of everyone and anti crit, which will be very hard for him to deal with. Sage Ball, yeah. So the Pavel's still there. We'll see how much damage he does. He's in the far back, though. Don't know if he'll be able to do this. Why don't I just sleep him? Oh no, he doesn't sleep. So we'll just go for the Hua Young kick here. We have attack buff. Boom. Nice. We'll just defense buff as well, because why not, right, at this point? Okay, and then he surrenders. <laughs> They just stack all the buffs. Defense buff, anti-crit, barriers. Uh, the Pavel wasn't going to do anything there, unfortunately. Alright, so there we go. What was that? I think we fought Pavels multiple times on this channel already. I don't have Pavel, so I can't test him or anything, but... Yeah, he seems to be pretty good. Or, well, he seems to be... Hard to use, not pretty good. That was like, wow, I don't know why I said pretty good. He seems to be very hard to use and difficult to set up. Uh, see Lilia's first pick, I mean, sure, we'll take that. As long as you leave my Ingras and my Dien alone. See, the good thing about not banning Hua Young is that she's a popular pre-ban, right? So, other people can ban Hua Young, and now I don't have to deal with Aeola or Rebellion. I think this is great. Riru picked out, Alencia picked out, ooh. He is going for some Earth units. Right, so what we can do now is we can pick Fire units. Oh, this is great. I'm very excited for this, actually. Uh, do we go for Ed? Hmm. Do we go for Ed? That is the question. No Aeola means that Rimuru was kind of free for him. But could we Solitaria this? We could, right? Let's go Solitaria, and then maybe we go Ed as well. I, I feel like Ed's gonna be fun. Or do we go Stene? Stene might be good. Yeah, no, let's go Stene. There's a reason for this. Let's go Stene. We'll go Solitaria, because he's not going any Cleanser, so we're gonna punish that fact. So he has to draft a Cleanser here, which I'm basically just forcing him to draft a certain way, so I can play a certain way. Alright. And A Ravia is the last pick. It's very interesting. I mean, go for it though. More power to you. <clears throat> Alright, this lets us go. Roy Mustang. There we have it. So we can ban DJB and we can probably fight the rest regardless, right? They can't reach Stene. If I ban DJB, Solitaria can control the team. Roy also has advantage over all these Earth units. Nice! Okay, so we get Roy in the draft! Very cool, Stene was banned, and we banned the DJ Beast that we can hopefully control this Rimuru, so he cannot blow up the Roy. Okay, so let's see what happens. He's gonna go for S3. This is a HP uh, C Lilius, as you can see, HP Ring. You can tell by the really high 2021 20, 20, 20, KHP uh, units tend to be both rings, right? Okay, so what do we do? Uh, do we even buff here? Do we even buff here? Yeah, let's just go for this. Let's go for the barrier, just so the Roy gets protection here. Right, and let's try to strip this Rimuru and stun him. That would be ideal. If I get 15%ed, I'll be quite upset. Okay, there we go, nice. We got the stun. So, what do we do here? Let's go for a defense break on the A Ravi. It's a proof A Ravi, okay. We can actually go for an S3 really early, so let's go for it. Why not? Right? A lot of damage coming in. And, let's let it rip. I know I. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is so epic! <laughs> I love it, love it so much. Okay, Rimuru is out of his stunned phase. He's going for the Dien here, does not want me to have 
my buffs. I'm gonna put up the anti-crit stuff soon. Did Rimuru... Yeah, Rimuru already proc'd his S2 when I stunned him, right? So that's why I buffed the Solitaria before I went in for the S3, but I also used the barrier just in case that... If Solitaire, uh, if Rimuru 15 percent me, he wouldn't have stolen the attack and uh, resist buff, right? Crit resist buff. Okay, let's try to control the team now. It's a Proof of Valor Aravi. So let's see if we can land some debuffs here. Nice. Two stuns. Very nice. Get some defense buff going. See, this is how you punish players for drafting certain ways, right? He didn't draft a cleanser until way too late. And in that case, you have to draft two cleansers. Um, and at that point, we pretty much had the advantage in picking and choosing how we wanted to play the match. Did we want to give him the DJB and nullify the Solitaria, but while keeping, uh, but while like banning something like Aravi, you know? Okay, nice. Got some healing with Roy. Let's go for the cleanse and uh, barrier. The barrier helps keep Roy nice and healthy because he he's kind of like T Surin, right? In that regard. Okay, so we cannot S2. Let's go. Let's finish the Rimuru off because I don't like him. So we're just gonna focus the Rimuru down. That's the whole point of Solitario is to get rid of Rimuru, right? There we go. That dual attack might have been huge, actually. Oh my god, look at all these stuns, man. Look at these stuns. Let's go for the Alencia. Oh, and he's gonna leave! Wow, I was gonna have a second Roy S3! Oh, that was gonna be so nice! Ah, oh, I rarely get this excited over the game, but... Man, Roy is just so fun to use! So happy! So happy with his damage and everything! I was kind of iffy on him before he got released, I was like, uh, I don't know about this, right? He kind of seems a little lackluster, but while using him, man, does he work nicely. Does exactly what you expect him to do, and he packs a punch with his damage as well. That was a very tanky team that I was fighting, right? See Lilius with Alencia, with Rimuru, and with a, uh, a Ravi on proof, and they had a Vigor buff as well. So, Roy did nice. Roy did very nice. Okay, let's see what this guy is. Edwaru. Edwaru, right? Not Edward, Edwaru. See Lilia's first pick? Ooh, Dilly that's banned. I gotta keep that in mind. If this guy ends up putting up a bunch of uh, debuffs, I gotta be careful. So let's go Aeroz. They need other cleansers, but it's okay because Ed exists. Oh, hang on. He's cleaving. Uh oh. This is not good. So we can go Rimuru into this, I believe. Yeah, Rimuru is not bad here. Go Rimuru. Uh, Politus? Politus could be okay too. Yeah, we can go Politus here, I think. Alright, prevent the Ron S2 and the C. Lilius S2 S3. Oh, he's gonna pivot to Aramintha. And he's gonna go Ida. Okay. Uh, well, I think that... Who's good here? Arby? Sage Ball? Arby, Sage Ball, Meru? Armin. I think Armin's good here. I think we just tank up. We just go Armin, right? Yeah, we go Armin, and I think we ban the Aramintha. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, we go for that. Okay. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be very weird. Let's see how this plays out. He does have souls he can soul burn with. But he doesn't S2, I think he just goes straight for the S3. See, Lilius might just S1 the Politus afterwards, right? He should be able to kill the Politus. He should be able to. Okay, oh, but the thing is, Rima oh, I see why he's hesitant. Rimuru procs. Rimuru gets to cut here. Yeah. Okay. Well then. Uh, if I... What if I nuke the... C. Lilius? What if I nuke the C. Lilius here? 
Can I kill her off? I don't think I can. I probably should have gone for something like the Ida. Yeah, okay. Probably should have gone for something like Ida or Closer. But this is okay. He has to S1 the Politis, I think. He has to S1 the Politis. Oh, he's doing it! Wait a minute. But Politis stops Ida from cutting, and I get to S2. Okay, does he S1 now? He has to finish off Politis, right? No, he's gonna try to- Oh, I see. Very clever. Now he gets to try to cleave. I should've, uh, I should've popped the Ida. I should've popped the Ida. Yeah. I'm gonna lose this one now. My, my mind was not focused. I was still living the, living the high from my, from my Roy match. Man. Oh, look at that. The Soul Burn animation played, but he didn't get to do anything. <laughs> Alright. Let's take things seriously now. Let's, let's actually, uh, let's actually think about what we're doing. Politus was, yeah, so Rimuru was not the play there into the Sea of Lilias. I should have gone for the Ida, and I think if I nuked the Ida, we would have been in a very nice position. Yeah, that was completely my, my fault. So, I should have won that. Oh well. Let's keep on going. See if we can get another Roy match in. Really like using him. But again, we have to try to make the opponent draft a certain way to achieve that. A okay, Bellion Band. A Arc Demon Band. Okay. Is this guy cleaving? See Lilia. See, it's really annoying, right? Everyone just picks the same thing. And it's why I like to sometimes ban Sea Lilias, because then it gives me a bit of variety with my draft. Because then we get to start seeing different things. So let's go for Dien, and let's go for Dilibet. Yeah, let's go for this. Pretty decent units to have and to see Lilius. Alencia being picked out is fine. Might go A-Raz here. Oh, A-Ravi, nice. Yeah, let's go A-Raz. And what do we do? <clears throat> I want my opponent to draft in a way that allows me to pick Roy. What do we do into a... Ooh, you know what? Let's go Stene. Stene is a pretty good pick, because I want the book from her anyway. Would be nice to get some souls. So this forces him to go AoE. Hopefully not an ice unit that's AoE, like SSB. Okay, Landy is fine. Landy is fine. We can fight the first four, alright, Charlotte is being picked out as well, so I think we'll fight the Landy. You know, Ed is also really good into this team, I just banned the A-Ravi, Charlotte can't help but debuff Ed. But do we go Roy? I think we try Roy, right? We have to go, let's go Roy, it'll be so funny. Let's go Roy, we're gonna ban the Charlotte here, I think we're good. Come on. Don't ban the Roy, please. Please don't ban the Roy. Who is he gonna ban? Don't ban the A-Roz either. Please don't ban the A-Roz. Oh, nice! Okay, good. The Stene was there to hopefully bait the ban, and it worked. It worked! Okay, we get the A-Roz Roy combo again. We got the dual attacks going on. It's quite nice. He had no way to really reach my Stene if I banned, um if I banned Charlotte, right? Um, and Landy could get broken out of stealth quite easily here with my team. Okay, he's gonna go straight for the DN. I'm gonna push up the team now. This is what's gonna happen, right? A-Roz can... A-Roz can go ahead and do this to break Landy out of stealth. I wanna get rid of Landy early. We're gonna go for this. Oh, it's a counter A Ravi. Okay. Sure. Now, I guess we don't really care about. Yeah, let's go and reset the C Lilius here. She did not go for her procs, right? She did not go for her skills. Yes, we, we increased the skill cooldown by one. So now we can finish off the. Let's finish this off so that he doesn't get bigger for his team, right? 
<laughs> oh, it's a proof of valor. All right, well, we're going to finish off a lot here. Oh, shoot. Actually, no, we're not. We don't have the AoE. So let's finish off the Landy. All right, and then the next turn, I think we are good. Roy can S3 the next turn. Okay, he's going to attack Roy, but we get a huge barrier from Aeroz, and now... Alencia's S3 has to strip. Oh no, he's not even going to go for the strip. Why is he not going for the strip? Oh, please don't quit. Please don't quit. I really, really want to see Roy's S3 again. 100% win rate. Come on, Roy. No, he quit! Oh! <laughs> Roy! <laughs> he was going to be so epic. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. Man, I just wanted to use Roy. Ah. Oh. Why couldn't you just wait to see the S3, right? Wouldn't you want to see the S3 of Roy? It's so epic. Man. All right, Belly and Dillabed band. Okay, people are bailing Dillabed. Climbing a little higher up, actually. I'm actually climbing a little bit higher up. Dilibet Band, Bellion Band, he might be cleaving, so I'm not going to first pick DN, right? Bellion and uh, Dilibet Band means he's probably going something like Ron. So we can go for a neutral Aeroz pick, because Aeroz is decent into cleave, protects the back line. I have Aureus on him. Aeroz, he might be the anchor, he might go Ron here. Yep, okay, so he's cleaving, maybe, but we're going to go for Rimaru. Now he could go Politis, but I don't think I'm going to go Politis. We're going to tank up a little, and what else do we do here? So many people trying to cleave, it's crazy. Or they're smoke screening their cleave, right? They're pretending like they're going to cleave, but then they actually don't. Who else is good here? Uh, huh. I don't want to overcommit with, like, Armin or something. Do we go... I mean, I don't know if he's squishy enough for something like Meru to work. We just go Meru anyway, I think. Yeah, I think we go Meru anyway. <clears throat> so we go this to deter him from going further. Maybe he'll pivot out of Cleave. And if he does that, we can go more of a standard draft. Because my Meru is counter Meru, so she can still work. My Rimuru is tanky. Uh, we, can, we can utilize him in longer fights if we need to. So we'll see what he goes for. He's still cleaving, so he's going for Ceceria. This is why he banned Dilibet. He's going for Sage Ball, so I can't have him. Wow, look at this guy. Okay, now we got a match on our hands. So what do we do? Ed is good here, right? Ed has got to be good here. Do we go Politis? Hmm, do we go Politis? We want something to punish his S3, right? Because he's gonna... He's not gonna S2 because of Rimaru. So... If he's gonna S3, do we go DJB or something like that? Yeah, maybe DJB. And then what? We go Ed? Yeah, let's go Ed. Yeah, let's go Ed. Screw it, right? Yeah, let's go Ed. It's okay. Let's just do it. We slammed Roy into two drafts, right? Why not slam Ed into this draft? We'll see how he works. Can he work into anti in, in, into cleave? Ooh, spooky. What do we ban? The C Dom? Do we ban the C Dom? Ah. I think we ban the C Dom. I think we're good into the rest. Oh, and he's. Oh, what a coward banning Ed. Ugh. What a coward. Alright. <laughs> I want to see what Ed can do into a cleave team, but all right, let's see what this guy does. Okay, please don't hit the Rimaru. Everyone always hits the. Everyone always hits the Rimaru. That is not cool, man. Well, at least we got a counter attack. Okay, we got a follow attack. Not bad. He's gonna push up. DJB pushes up. DJB is a little too late, unfortunately. Can he try to sleep, though? 
Who's he gonna sleep? Oh, he's gonna try to sleep everyone. Okay. I like how Meru resisted. Is he gonna try to do DJB? No, he's gonna get rid of the a -Roz. Okay. Go for an S3. Probably gonna finish off the Rim uh, the a -Roz here. I don't think Rimuru dies. Oh no, he doesn't finish off anyone. Okay. Meru still hasn't taken a turn yet, which is nice. He's gonna try to finish off DJB? No, he's just gonna go for Rimuru. Interesting. Okay, uh, what do we do? I think I blind the team? Yeah. Let's blind the team, and let us go for a Meru S3. Please, Meru, you just gotta counter sometime. I like how we never crit the Ron, but Ron always crits my Rimuru. Strange how that happens. Okay, now he's gonna S2. He's still blind. Is he gonna miss? <laughs> oh, he's gonna hit my DJB. Okay. Um, let's go for hit here. Okay, is he gonna finish off Meru? Or is he gonna go for the DJB? He's gonna go for the Meru. Okay. Oh, doesn't quite finish it off! Meru's gonna go down. Alright, she comes back. Please, Ron. Don't hit. Okay, there we go. Uh, the, the problem here is I don't have an attack buff. So, I'm gonna have to go for this anyway. I think we lost this, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no way, right? There's no way. There is no way. Yeah, he just has to finish off the Meru. That's unfortunate. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> I quit, but I got a uh, Magic for Runs card. It doesn't matter because the ROM was going next anyway. Uh, it's all good. <laughs> of course you proc at the end there, Meru. Okay, how many matches have we done? One, two, three, four... Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know how many matches we've done. Let's do one more. Because I kind of feel like it. Let's do one more. Okay. Man, that would have been funny if... Well, the thing is, if Meru still had her attack buff, we had a chance. But because she didn't, uh, that S2 that she did wouldn't have had a follow-up attack, right? Same thing with her magic for friends. Like, it wouldn't have had a follow-up attack. We would not have killed that A-Ravi. The only thing that I think could have saved us, even if Ron wasn't going next, is that if uh, DJB stunlocked the A Robbie for Meru to kind of uh, heal up a bit and then take a couple turns? This guy has the same exact pre bans as me. What a wasted set of pre bans on my part. Okay. So. Is he cleaving? Like, is he cleaving? Do we go. Just per first pick A Roz, right? Everyone's trying to cleave nowadays. It's really strange. Yeah, see, look, everyone's trying to cleave, and I, I don't like that. I don't like that, because I, I don't want to fight cleavers, I just want to fight other players so I can use Roy and Ed. Like, that's all I want to do, but no, everyone just wants to cleave. I, I should start pre-banning, like, Ron and stuff. I should switch these pre-bans up so I can, yeah, because everyone's banning, like, Bellions anyway, right? And then, you know, I'll stop banning Bellion and people are gonna destroy me with bellions. What do we do here? Rimuru. Rimuru's still good into this, yeah? Just, just this Ron needs, Ron's need to stop hitting my Rimuru's. Just complete, just stop hitting my Rimuru's. Because it is not, that's not fair, right? My Meru never crit that Ron, ever. Um, so we need to make sure that that doesn't happen. Alright, let's go for Meru again. I think she worked well last time. It's just a little, you know, little RNG that wasn't in our favor there. We'll go for this. Come on, man. You cannot you cannot possibly crit Rimuru every single time. Lionheart Sermia, huh? Go for it. Not scared of that. Okay, and Rowana. Um... Is he just, like, bulking up and going standard now? Because that's what it seems like. So, 
we could just go for something that counters the Ron and the A Ravi. It's so hard. It's so hard to play like this. Um, Spectre Tenebria, yeah? Spectre Tenebria is pretty good. Yeah, let's go Spec Tene. Do we? No. Yeah, let's go Spectre. Let's go DN. It's fine. Yeah, we'll go Spectre, go DN. It's all good. There's no follow-up to the Ron besides this Ida here, but we can just ban the... Ooh, we're in trouble, aren't we? We don't want that Lionheart to go, but we can try to burst down the Lionheart as soon as possible. We ban the Ido or we ban the Ron? I think we ban the Ron. Yeah, yeah, I think we ban the Ida. We ban the Ida. He bans Dien. Okay. Protect uh, Meru. I think we're good. Right, so let's see how this plays out. This might be really, really fast. He might just cleave me right here. Oh, he's actually going for it. He wants my Rimuru to proc. Okay. He wants my Rimuru to proc so that he can um, get Lionheart to go. Uh, he, crit, he crit my... Look at that. He crit my Rimuru. How disgusting is that? Seriously. Okay. Um... What do I do? I have to go for the Lionheart here. Yeah, but the problem is, I can't kill the Lionheart here. I can't kill the Lionheart. I don't have enough damage. Yeah, I don't have enough damage. Now he's gonna cleave everything. That is just... Oh, man. That's unfortunate. And he gets another turn, so he gets to kill off the Meru as well. Ah, oh, if we survived that, it would've been nice. But, oh well. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so people who are gonna be pivoting quite a bit. I think next time I'm just gonna be banning Ron. I don't have to see him anymore. But you know what? I'm happy. I got two Roy matches in. That's all I can really ask for. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.